to the night of the job, yeah? Yes, sir. All right. Smile. Relax. Tequila Howard is a student in the culinary program at Second Harvest, training to work in a commercial kitchen. In the meantime, the single mom depends on food stamps to feed her five-month-old son and herself. Especially food to cook, like, you know, chicken and, you know, beef, uh, seafood. You couldn't do that before? No, ma'am, because it takes a lot of money to buy just one package of meat. The food stamp program feeds millions in the United States every year, including some immigrants who are here legally. But recently, the Supreme Court issued a temporary order saying many immigrants will be able to apply for food stamps no more. Those in favor say, to some extent, it's about protecting tax dollars. What it's really about is, is it's basically ensuring that, you know, American citizenship actually means something. You're actually bringing something to the table. Others say it's about exclusion. To try to avoid certain people from, from being able to immigrate legally in, into the country. The concern that some immigrants who use food stamps to feed their families won't apply, can't apply, because it'll jeopardize their legal permanent status. One in five Central Florida children are at risk of going to bed hungry tonight. So that's not even necessarily including the children that could be affected by this proposed rule. And can the food banks handle the increased demand? The answer will come soon because the order goes into effect February 24th. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.